trying to dry the Dyson Air Wrap. It's actually in a sweatshirt. I feel like you need her. I thought I'd give you a quick little Primark call. Oh, okay. And then this evening, we're going to go to the cinema. I'm in my cafe era. Can I? Good morning. Hello, everybody. Today is a fun day. We're going shopping together and we're going shopping with Mia. So it's going to be a come shop with me, but also a come shop with me and Mia. So I'm going to be shopping with you and I'm going to be shopping with Mia. Can you tell I'm literally so excited? I've not seen Mia in the longest time. And we're going to Post Park today. I need to get in the car in a second, so I need to be kind of hurry up -y with this intro but it's also good because otherwise i'd probably ramble but we're going to Foss park today the primark at Foss park is so good it's so much better than the cambridge primark and i just can't wait to see mia have a coffee have a catch-up have a shop we're off i'm wearing this today which i would never normally wear like out the house i'd normally wear this like loungewear -y. it's a little zara tracksuit but we've decided we're going for comfort today because a i've got to drive like an hour and a half there and an hour and a half back and also b the weather's not the nicest and see all i really care about seeing mia and having a catch up with her i'm not that fussed about like wearing a nice outfit to get an instagram picture or something so i thought i'd go for comfort today but i don't know what bag to bring because i'm at josh's so i don't have all my wardrobe here because i've been staying here the past week which is why part of the reason why i'm wearing this because i've got restricted clothing here and i've also got restricted bags so i don't know what to wear this bag and then wear my uggs kind of cute or whether to wear my beige lululemon belt bag i don't really know because the bag that i would wear with this ideally i've left at home which is kind of annoying but we've got to make do with the limited wardrobe i have here so maybe this will be today's outfit i also need to quickly pop a bit of perfume on get some water and then we can get in the car i'm just putting on um joe malone wood sage and sea salt because it's one of my favorites so yes that is today's plan i thought we could intro the vlog now because once i'm with mia it can be slightly chaotic and I didn't really want to intro it in the car because I've got to be concentrating on that road, ladies and gentlemen. So let's get going. I'm going to put my shoes on, work out what bag we're going with. And then we're going to get in the car and we're going to go shopping with Mia. And this intro has been excessively, unneedingly long. So let's get going. We're also bringing the kefir. We've got the priorities. We've got the bag. We've got the kefir. We've got the sunglasses. <laughs> let's get the car keys and go. I'm bringing this because I need some breakfast, by the way. And I also love kefir. I'm in my kefir era. I need you as well. Let's go. <laughs> Hello! Look who it is! Hi Angels, we've got a little coffee! I always forget what this coffee tastes like, it's so different to Starbucks coffee. No, I just thought that. When I just tried it, I was like, ooh, I'm not sure It I always like takes that, me back every time. We've got a little donut. I don't know which whose it's whose. Who's, who's. Yeah. Why is that? You're so sorry. <laughs> I'm like a little midget. <laughs> Aren't I? I feel like a giant. It's because I've got my cat for months on. Yeah, I feel yeah. Like... You did look tall when yeah, we were all I together. Said, I think mine's in celebration of Wonka, guys. Oh I'm not no, sure. I've just shoved my finger in the caramel. Oh no. Like a little love part one. Try. You're allowed to. Is it like chocolate in there? Go on. Is that hot? A bit of donut pork. Oh, look at that focus. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> what we like. I just love the cups here. Me too. If I could buy that, it's just a uh, part where that I'd get in. It just feels so much better. I love like, like the Starbucks cup. Yeah, I love the size. I just feel so American and special. And it always has the little positive energy take on it, which I love. And we can't ask you much more than that. This is the best donut I've ever had. Really? I'm normally a donut hater. Wow, I'm not. <laughs> I love me a donut. You love sweet treats. Mm. And Molly was always noting me, even though she's like, Georgie Clark loves a sweet treat, doesn't she? <laughs> <laughs> no, so she does, yeah, she does. That's like, she, you're right there, Molly. <laughs> she's like, she's always got something sweet. I said, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Are you enjoying that? Yeah, I really am. <laughs> because I've always hated donuts because of like, you know, when they're like plain inside. Mm -hmm. Like the only one I really like around Krispy Kreme is like, you know, the, like the raspberry glaze. Mm -hmm. That's my favourite. But this, I'm really enjoying. It's lovely time over there. <laughs> Good to enjoy yourself. We're off into Primark. I am so excited. This Primark is so good. So, well, it's quite busy. <laughs> <laughs> We're in Primark. Look at how cute they've got like the Adenola jutes. I had this one on um, yesterday day before. I can't remember with the matching leggings. I literally love it. That's the little top and the leggings. I really like How cute is that as well for a little dog walk? Oh, I love that. That's so cozy. Oh, Mia's got that. the cream top and they've got the shorts over here, but I'm hoping they might have leggings, although I'm not seeing it. Oh, look, this is cute. Awesome. Yeah. I think that's coming home with me. Yeah, I'd like her too. I want like little matching leggings. That's so it feels nice. thick I wonder if they'll have anything matching with it. Because I don't want to wear that. Oh. Yeah. She's a match. Oh my god. Perfect. But I don't think they've got this, my size. I think it's short. Oh no, it's extra small. Oh, perfect. Extra small? Yeah. 
Thank you very you much, go, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, and they've got shorts. Yeah. So. We're trying to work out whether we want the matching shorts oh, as well. Oh, that is cute. It's got a little rouge because bum. We could wear it in summer. Let's get them. Because then, like, you've got the leggings for the winter. Oh, do the leggings have a rouge bum? Yeah. I didn't want love. to notice that. Because we're not paying attention because we're too excited Lovely. to see each other. <laughs> yeah, we're being silly. Um, love. Yeah. Extra Please. They've also got it in the dark grey as well with the matching top, we've noticed. In they go. In they go. Thank you very much. There is so much cute little activewear stuff. These it's flooded. Little like, video jackets. That is so thick. That feels thick, doesn't it? Primark's like gym wear stuff is so too. good. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I want? The Tala one that's got the Apple Watch hole. Because Has it? makes a world of difference wow. to start stop the run yeah, because it's hard to keep pushing up it's, how many yeah. have i done exactly am i done yet Fucking yeah, <laughs> can i stop? stop i didn't know we had that no i know and that's why i really want it it's genius right well done grace beverly yeah go on grace thank you <laughs> they've got a dark gray in the um i don't know the jeep as well which i've not seen that's before but oh, i do quite like that the matching leggings around the corner it's the same as the green one it looks like they're too popular they, i think they've been ransacked I don't blame them. It's a nice set. It is nice. And it feels exactly the same as the green, doesn't it? But Especially for the weather like this. Wear the cream leggings on yeah. This? See, why have we got the dark grey and the green with leggings, but the cream has only got shorts? Yeah, like, just be fair. I like the shorts for the summer, but I want the leggings for now. We're looking oh, at the joggers. Look nice. These look so nice. The grey mile. Oh, I love the bottom as well. And apparently the matching zip up looks stunning. We need to find I it think, then. Is that behind? There. I reckon so. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, everyone's going mad for them. They're saying like they've changed. How much them. are they? Seven pound. Yeah, but feel them. They feel really like really thick. They feel like. I love um the little thingy, the drawstring as well. It looks like... more expensive, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. I'm actually shocked at that. I wonder how they would fit. They were kind of giving me Zara vibes. Like you'd get those me kind too. of joggers in Zara. Yes, like good quality vibes. And it's the, like you said, it's the perfect grey mile like this. Yeah. It's I literally like perfect. For much more than that, can you? Okay, guys, we found the zipper. I don't think that is massive, do you? Do you know what the only thing I'm not the lover of? Uh, this. Is it? I oh, know, I know. It's I've... okay. How much is it? Eight pounds. You can't complain for eight pounds. No. But if but I was feels... designing her. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't we'll have do chose this, this either. No. But for eight pounds, <laughs> we're not going to Can we make it? I don't know. But guys, the tracksuits, go and check them out because they feel so soft. Oh, that is quite cute. What? I'm not really pink Aww. girly, but that is cute. cute. It looks a bit. That reminds me of something you'd get in Zara. I feel like it's something like Grace Foley would wear. Yeah. I'd quite like to wear that it's with like cream trousers. That is cute. Some, like, They've actually got some really nice knitwear in, haven't they? Yeah. It's only eleven pound. I actually really like that, it's but I just know I wouldn't wear it because it's pink. If that was cream, I'd get I it. Imagine you in pink. No, I love pink clothing, but I just know I'm not going to wear it. Would you not wear? It, I'd pick something else in my wardrobe Would over you? it. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Leave it in there. Yeah. There's a little top with croissants on it. That is just even a top. <laughs> I just wouldn't wear that, but that is so me. Freshy yeah, made. Cool. Fresh Does this have anything cute on the back? <gasps> Does it? I feel like you need that. I think I need that. I feel like that's you in a Can you just hold that a sec so we can show her? That's you in a sweatshirt. I feel like you need her. It would she be rude for me not to. She's 11. She's not bad. I think the large. Or oh, do we think the extra large? Is there that's an extra large? Oh my god. This has got little um, donuts on, but I just wouldn't hair. wear that. Yeah, I think we'll get the have. large. I feel like this is definitely big enough. That is so cute. Really cute. You need it. Just for like a comfy. Oh my god, yeah. And like even like on the beach, like when you go to the beach in Cornwall. Yeah, and like with the pastry in hand. Get in the bag. Get in the bag. In she goes. <laughs> Look at how cute this lip balm is. It's so. This is the type of thing as a child I would have loved. Oh, I used to too. love collecting lip balm. I've never had, I wonder what cocoa pops taste like though. Do you know what I mean? You never had cocoa pops. No, I mean like oh, cocoa the lip pops. Balm. Like there's not a lot of cocoa pop scented stuff, is there? No. Do you know what I mean? But look at how cute. It's a little box. I might have to just get that just for my childhood. Yeah, can we smell it? Am I going to use that? Probably not, but... I found the strawberry lip jelly thing and I'm intrigued to see what it looks like. I wonder if it just looks... Oh. Just a lip balm. Oh, let me smell. Mm. That takes me back to like... Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like kid makeup, yeah. isn't it? I thought it was going to be like a jelly jelly, you know what I mean? Like, you touch it and it would wibble. wibble. Cream blusher. Nice. And they've got this one, like a Charlotte Tilbury juice. In the thing is, I don't know how I feel about a matte one. No, I know, that's what I, I think. I, I always like you. Mm, look at that. It looks like a putty. It does, doesn't it? Look at how cute they are. No, so I many. don't. And I just think, oh. But they are cute, those they ones. Are. That is so I cute. Don't. Quack, quack. <laughs> is this meant to be strawberry, that's so do you think? Cute. The hearts are. Yeah, I keep seeing these on TikTok. Oh, look, they've got another. Um, Ingrown hair, bod, like hair one. They've got another. Um, oh, we, did you yeah. use it? I still haven't tried it. I mean, either. What's that? That's a face, but that makes me think of my acne would just yeah, that's, flourish. Yeah, I want to try it, but I'd be a bit scared. <laughs> what is that purple thing? This one. 
Yeah. And this is no fuzz. Shimmer shave, shave sorbet. Oh, for your body. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> like a foot deodorant spray. I mean, that's so random. Yeah, like what's I mean, I love the colours. They've got some really nice packaging, but. Oh, look, they've got this as well. A post shave serum. Oh, yeah, I was just about to look at that. Interesting. They've got more little um, no mark clips. Look how cute they are. They've got like a whole super bright section. They've got like this um, soft, heatless colours. And look at these for little like um, cleansing pads. They're so cute. That's I saw really this nice. the other day and I got the. Um, bikini but I've now seen they've got like a matching sarong thing they've got like a little dress thing that I didn't see the other day and they've also got a different bikini top they've got one like this I just got the classic triangle one and then I've also just picked up the little matching headbands because I thought that would look so cute together they have like a whole range in this and then the other day I got the matching trousers so imagine that with the bikini top and the trousers and the headband so cute oh here we go this is a little triangle one that I got the other day oh look you can even get like a wet bikini bag as well but I thought that together with the trousers would look so good and these were only £2.50 so oh, look, that is so cute oh like a little co-ord that's so nice white linen you could wear that as a bikini cover up and also just in the summer yeah I really like that that that's is so, so nice £10 and then the trousers are £10. £10 not bad love this colour blue I wouldn't wear it no, and with that I that would look so nice together the model's wearing this with like the little matching um, sarong thing over here Look at how cute that is. This is also quite nice. It's like a toweling material. This is so pretty. Like it's kind of giving grandma. I, I wouldn't it. wear it, but it's so cute. I Imagine like that with the little trousers. Gorge. I could think that I wouldn't wear like the shirt and the trousers but you together, could do it but separately. Yeah, if you style that the right way, they're so thick. Oh, they're from the summer because they look really cool. Like, yeah, and they look so pretty, in. don't they? I do quite like this. I was just saying to me, I've seen quite a few people wear this on TikTok, like the little flowery set. That's how cute That's is really that? nice. You could do you know what you could wear that out of the house? Like if you put a big coat on. You know if you're like under this. Yeah, you're like, oh, I just need to pop it out and run some errands. Oh, can't be bothered to get dressed. Reverend, Evans fit. <laughs> I love it. That's so cute. Yeah, okay. This is what the little um, flowery set looks like as well. It's so cute. It's beautiful. I just don't know if I'd wear it. Jo Jode picked it up for Australia, but she got the I don't know if bra I yeah, and the shorts. That's what I'm thinking is so nice. How much is that? Six pound for the bra. Don't know where the shorts are. Uh, shorts are here. I'll tell you how much they are. Eight. So how much together? Eight and six. Fourteen. So, I think that's you look like, really cute. That is so there. cute, isn't it? Yeah, but I feel like you I look really cute. Time. Yeah, let me get you the shorts. I mean, they don't look tiny. No, they might. Well, you wouldn't want to mop your arms. No, no you, you, this is tight and this baggy. Oh, yeah. I think I'm gonna get them. Who am I getting matching? Who am I getting matching? Mia's found this green, green, grey set. It is so nice. Bottoms are. 12 and nice. the top is 10. Bit more expensive but it feels really good quality. The quality, oh my god, I wish you could feel this. It is so it's soft. soft. thick. It gives me holly stuff. Yeah. It, it feels like it, it feels like expensive. It and that's exactly what we I love it. Here. So we're gonna pick this up guys. She's getting in the basket. It's <laughs> been so successful on the shop. We've come to the home. <laughs> <laughs> it smells really good, you know. Look at this. I didn't think this oh I don't like the feel of it. It's like um Bitty, but that, that I didn't think looked like Primark. No, it looks, it looks like quite nice. Primark. Yeah, it looks. I wonder I really how much like it is. This, I just, yeah. That's only ten pound. That is not bad. Oh shit! Is it nice? It's a bit subtle, isn't it? But it's that is huge. Oh, I'm not carrying yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, look at how cute this is for like a little Easter decoration. That's so I love cute. That. that little Easter egg. Five pound. I might get that. That is so cute. It's really. It'd be cute for like in your office with some little. Yeah, I'm getting you that. Want to put her in. How much is it? Five pound. You look so cute with that bag, I love it. You think? I love it. I, I feel weird coming out in a tracksuit because I never... I love this. Look at how nice that is. That is giving me like TK Maxx, Home Sense, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it smell nice? What Anything? does that smell like? Um, not peach, right? It's reminding me of something I can't work out what it is. It's took me something, but I don't know what. It's really... It's like strawberry something, but I can't I put my what. finger on it. Oh look, mm, they've, that's nice. they've also got oils for like the diffuser. Ooh. Oh, that's so cute. Look at this. That is Aww. so sweet. If you were like a bunny fan. <laughs> There's any bunny fans out there. <laughs> look at how cute that is. It's like a, oh my God. Oh, God, oh they're okay? attached. There you go. <laughs> it's like a little wreath, but they've got little chicks breaking out of the eggs. That Surprise. is so cute. Mia's also picked up this candle, which is so cute. so good. It's 10.99. It's, so it's really, really good. It smells, I want to say it smells like strawberry lemonade. That's what it reminded yeah, yeah, me of. Yeah, yeah, 
We've made it into H&M. I don't, last time we came in here, it was absolutely it's awful. Not, not, oh, the bomber. Is it? Similar. Yeah, no. similar. It's not quite the same as a Primark like one, but it looks... It's just a new colour. There's a lot of, like, football-y stuff, we've just said, like, race car-y kind of vibe. There's not really anything we're loving. It's like all-American football, I think. It's very sporty today, I feel like. Even the accessories aren't very good, which normally I feel like H&M's accessories are quite good. These are quite cute if you wanted to do, like, bows in your hair. But other than that... Do you think that, it's a bit Christmassy, though? Yeah, it is. Especially the red. There's just not really anything in here. Like it's like the um, TK Maxx. They're big, but there's just not really, not really a lot in them. Okay, we got told in Patreon we can't film George for health and safety reasons. But I literally, I got a coat which I'll show you later. It was 200. No, to 25. 25. It was an absolute bargain. I just saw. It. I didn't even bother looking through the sale rack, so I couldn't be asked. But it was just hanging on the end. Just called you because I didn't yeah. miss it. And I just tried it on and she's lovely. No, so I think that's beautiful. We're you so happy with that. Thank you so much. You're I've been wanting a grey coat as well, so I take it back. That H and M, I mean it wasn't great, was it? It was shit. But we oh, got a bargain, so, so right. exactly. So Good morning everybody, happy, what day is it, Friday, I'm back in the car, I had a bit of a nightmare journey getting home from Cross Park yesterday, I'm not going to lie, you are really bumpy, let me just drive a bit slow so you're not bumpy, yeah I had a bit of a nightmare journey getting home from Cross Park yesterday, so we left at like half two, so I thought perfect, I'll avoid rush hour, I'm going to be home before it gets dark, like love that, and the way I normally go, which I've done so many times before because it's the same route that I used to drive up to Loughborough um, to go and visit Josh at uni, so it's a route that I'm really familiar with, I'm really comfortable with it because I've done it so many times and it's such an easy journey because it's basically just like one straight road almost it's so easy so I was going to go that way home and then I saw on my maps it said it was going to take me three hours to get home when it should only take me two um so I don't really know what happened there whether there was like a broken down vehicle or something I don't really know so I went a different way which literally took me through the whole of Leicester like Foss Park is on one side of Leicester it's about here I went all the way through Leicester past a school at three o'clock so it was a nightmare because as you can imagine it's school run there's kids everywhere there's loads of cars parked it was an absolute nightmare to then go home a different way and it ended up taking me two and a half hours to get home and like i just constantly got stuck behind slow vehicles and then as soon as that slow vehicle went i then got stuck um, behind another one and a lot of the journey i was on like single track roads so i couldn't overtake them and it was just so painful but i eventually made it home i will show you the coat that i got yesterday um when i get back home but i'm now in the car i've done some reformer pilates this morning as you saw just did some quick like five minute makeup i actually ended up using mainly primark makeup i realized but i actually really like the primark um charlotte tilbury dupe it's like five pound and i actually almost prefer it to the charlotte tilbury one because it's less like glowy i find which i prefer i feel like sometimes a charlotte tilbury one after i've worn it for a while my face looks like a deep fat fire um and then i also just love the primark bronzer and contour stick so i just use them put on a little bit of blush um because i just can't really be asked to wear much makeup today to be honest um and that is me done for the day and now i'm driving to go and meet up with alana we're going for coffee i think we're gonna go to starbucks oh my god also last night i had the worst night's sleep right so every single night i lie in bed and i read my book because i find it literally like makes me fall asleep basically and i got to the point of reading my book where my eyes were literally like about to close so i thought perfect like i'm literally about to fall asleep so i put my book down and i shut my eyes but then my brain just wouldn't switch off and i just couldn't sleep and it took me ages to get to sleep which doesn't um happen very often for me like normally um i'll read my book and then i'm pretty much a goner so then um i eventually managed to get to sleep i don't know what time then i woke up again at midnight then i woke up again at i went to sleep at about half ten then i woke up again at like two. Oh my fuck oh shit okay i'm not gonna drive through that because i'm not gonna risk um getting my car absolutely ruined there's an absolute massive flood in the road and I do not want to drive through that and risk writing my car off. So we're going to have to go a different way. So Alana, if I'm late, I'm sorry. I've got 10 minutes to get there. Mm, I think I can do it, to be fair. Anyway, where was I? Oh my God, there's so much water. See, so yeah, I basically just kept waking up throughout the night. And the only thing that I thought that could potentially be is the coffee that I had. Because if I have a Costa Coffee, like I was saying last week in last week's weekly vlog, Costa Coffee's um, caffeine 
amount is like ridiculously high compared to other coffee brands and the same happens with mum if we have a cost of coffee we literally can't sleep all night because the caffeine is literally that strong and it keeps us awake so i don't know if that was the same with the dunkin that i had yesterday but i've had dunkin donuts coffee before and i love it and i've never had that issue with it keeping me awake like when i went to Foss park with mia ages ago we both got large coffees then and I was fine that night. Like, I don't remember having struggle sleeping that night. So why is it any different? Unless they've changed their coffee um, and it's got more caffeine in it now, I don't really know. But yeah, I don't really know what else like could have kept me awake. Like, I wasn't like thinking about things. I wasn't feeling anxious about anything or like anything like that. I had quite a long day yesterday. Like, I was up early and um, I'd obviously driven for ages. So I was quite tired. It wasn't as if like I wasn't tired. You know, sometimes you just like don't really do anything in a day. So when it comes to like nighttime, you're not tired. And then you struggle to go to sleep because you're not tired enough. I don't think it was that. So I really don't know what it was other than potentially the coffee. There's me saying that and I'm literally on my way to go and get another coffee now. But I never had the issue with Starbucks. That's part of the reason why I love Starbucks so much because I, their coffee like agrees with me. It's not too caffeinated and stuff. I don't know what coffee to get either. Like I kind of fancy it because I haven't had one in ages. The cold brews with the um, like flavoured cold foam on top but every time i've been to starbucks recently like my local starbucks on like the menu thing it's had like a sticker saying currently unavailable so i don't know if they're not doing them at the moment i don't really know so i don't know what i'm gonna get because i've had a lot of like nice caramel macchiatis recently so i don't really do i want another one of them like i would have one but i'm just trying to think of my other options anyway i'm just gonna meet alana now i've got about six minutes to get there i think timing should be okay i'd rather like be a couple minutes late for Alana and then have my car written off and I'm sure she'd be the same because that was a big puddle. I drove through it last night but it wasn't that bad. I remember coming home and I was like, oh god, I hate driving through water because I'm really worried it's just gonna write my car off. Um but it wasn't as bad when I came home last night. It's really got like a lot worse and I don't know if my car would have survived it and I wasn't willing <laughs> to test it out and see if it would. Right, I can't even play my music because you're resting on my phone and I've not set anything up. So now I'm just gonna have to sit in silence for the rest of the journey. Unless I listen to the radio, but I just don't really like listening to the radio. If we had the Australian radio shows, I probably would listen to the radio because they always come up on my TikTok and I literally love them. There's these people called Will and Woody, these two guys on um, TikTok that do an Australian radio show and they're so funny. And they had this whole um, like, set up with this guy called Rick. It's really confusing to explain, but if you know Tricky Ricky and Will and Woody and that whole Australian thing, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you don't, go and have a look on TikTok because I'm going to be rubbish at explaining it. But it is so funny. I literally love it. And also I've seen like when there was um, that period of girl math and there was that Australian radio show, like a different one, and they were girl mathing purchases to basically mean that they were nothing. So for example, they were like, okay, you've got a Dyson Airwrap. Well, your friends are going to use it on a night out. Um, you're going to let them borrow it. And then in return, they're going to buy you drinks. So that's going to save you $40. And then every time you use your Dyson Airwrap, you're saving yourself money by not going to the hairdressers to get a blow dry. And that's going to save you $60 each time. And then they do that basically until it works out for the purchase to be free. And like, I don't know what it is about my TikTok having Australian radio shows on it, but I actually kind of love them. And I wish that our radio shows were a bit more like that. I just don't, I never listen to the radio. Like my mum does. So if I'm in the car with my mum, like the radio will be on, but I just never do. I don't know if it's just a generation thing. Anyway, I really am rambling. We've been talking for 12 minutes. Um, so I'm going to go and see Lana. I'll see you in Starbucks. I'll let you know what I've got. Um, oh, I've also brought my um, the watermelon Trigwell Cosmetics lip oil to give to Lana because I keep forgetting it. I keep forgetting to give it to her. I've given Sophia hers and I've given my mum hers and I've nearly used mine up because I literally love it. Like mine's nearly empty. They're so good. But I just haven't, I've seen Alana, but I haven't, I keep forgetting to give it to her. So finally remember today, I'm going to give this to her. These are honestly such good lip oils. If you're looking for a good lip oil, um, great, it's now raining. Love that. The mango one is the one that I use and uh, yeah, I literally love it. Like I said, it's nearly run out. Like I'm that obsessed with it. <laughs> Oh, I've just popped into Audi on the way home and look at all the cute Valentine's things they've got. They've got like little heart shaped camembert and steak with little heart butters on. And look how nice these look. Those macaroons, heart shaped hair and share cookie, heart shaped nuggets, gooey oh, chocolate brownie. That looks nice. They've got so many cute little Valentine's things. I'm quite tempted to get these actually because who doesn't want heart shaped chicken nuggets? How cute is that? I've come for my second attempt to get the golden retriever and look. Oh wait, you can kind of see what it looks like, but it's all broken and I think the rest are all the blue. Oh wait, there's one. Oh no, I think I might be able to get it. I think that's the golden retriever. Yay! Look at how cute he is. How can I resist getting a chocolate golden retriever? It'd literally be criminal. <laughs> golden retriever, that little chocolate's been acquired. I don't even know if I can eat it. I feel bad if I eat it, but look at how cute. How could I not get that? And then I also got some 
me a cookies because they look delicious and then I quickly just popped into B&M as well because I've run out of my micellar cleansing water which I like to just take off my eye makeup. I normally use a simple one but they didn't have it so we're going to give this one a go because I absolutely despise the Garnier one. It used to break me out when I was younger so I refuse to buy that one. <laughs> Not that anyone really cares but um, I'll give this one a go. Anyway, it's quarter past 12, I'm going to go home, have some lunch and then I've got some parcels to open so I thought we could open them together. Now to show you the coat that I got yesterday which I cannot believe, like it was a literal bargain. So we were just walking around H&M, wasn't really much that I was seeing to be honest. Like the Primark at Foss Park is so good but like they don't have a Zara there, the H&M both times I've been has been pretty rubbish but I say that and then we were just like walking kind of about to leave and this coat caught my eye because it was like on the end of the sale rack and I just couldn't be bothered to look through the sale stuff because I just can't be asked with that. Um, but I just saw it hanging up on the side and I saw it had um, like a sale tag on, like a little red sticker which said £25. So I thought, okay, I'm going to try it on because it's like the kind of style of coat that I love wearing and I don't have a grey one and I've been thinking recently about getting a grey one. So I thought, okay, I'll try it on. Then when I picked it up to like go and have a look at it, I saw the tag and it said it was originally £169.99 and I managed to get it for £25 instead, which I think is probably the best bargain, like biggest reduction I've ever had before. It's in a size large, which I didn't know if it was going to be too big but actually it is pretty much the perfect oversized fit for me. I literally love it. I don't know why it was so expensive. I think it's got like made of wool and stuff. Oh, it's handmade. Wow. How is a coat handmade? Unsure, but it's handmade. So obviously it's like a bit of a premium price tag. Would I have paid £170 for this? Absolutely not, but £25, you're coming home with me. So this is what it looks like. I mean, you can't really see like full length, but it goes like all the way down. Like it's a full length coat. Love the collar, that kind of like wool formal style that I literally love it's that so it's exactly what i wanted i did kind of didn't know if i wanted a slightly lighter gray color um than this this is a little bit darker than what i was thinking of getting but for 25 pound i wasn't going to resist it um and then i've had some parcels delivered because obviously i was at josh's last week so i wasn't at home um for like any of my parcels and stuff and i've had a couple delivered whilst i've been away that i thought we could open but i will be honest i'll hold my hands up here i did open one of them last night because i couldn't wait and i am so pleased with this okay the aliexpress obsession is still continuing and i saw this on there this, when I tell you the quality of this is incredible, like it is such good quality. It's this navy knitted jumper, which is so thick. Like, I don't know if I, like you can tell from like how close up I'm holding it. Like it is insane quality, right? So this is what it looks like on the front. And then, right, this, I'm gonna take this off now because this actually, I've tied it on and I don't think I can get it off. It's this bloody, like it's cute, like this little heart thing, but it bugs me every time I knock it when I'm filming. Anyway, this is it on the front and then on the back, it says Jacquemus on it. And this was literally like 25 pound, I think, 30 pound. I'm obsessed with it. Now I got it in a size large and I'm really glad I did because it's not like a big oversized fit. So if you want to get it and you want to oversize, definitely size up because this is the large against me and I'm um, a size six. It is quite stretchy though. So I do feel like you probably could stretch out a little bit if you wanted to, but the quality of this is actually incredible. Like even if it was just a plain navy jumper, for £25, I would be so pleased with it. But the fact that it's got this on the back, I think is so cool. They also have the red one and I think it's cream that they do, but I just love this navy. I literally cannot wait to wear this. I will leave a link down below to this if anybody wants it. And then I also have very kindly been gifted some stuff from Revolve. So I thought we could open that, but I need to get some scissors because this has got some sellotape. So bear with me a second. If you've never heard of Revolve, it's kind of like ASOS, but more premium, like nicer quality, like bigger brands and stuff if that makes sense and I picked out two kind of little co-ordy things so first up this looks so nice the color of this looks even nicer in person than it did on camera not on camera um on the website I got this little two piece which I thought would be so cute for the springtime this is the top um so it's kind of like a linen beige square neck little top and then on the back it just buttons that up this is from the brand Lee academy i think i don't know i don't know what that brand is i can't really read the font but i love that font that looks so nice so got the little top and then i also got the matching trousers but i thought like this would work really well together but also the top would look really nice with other things the trousers would look really nice with just like a plain white top so i thought i could kind of mix and match with them so these are just the trousers just like a classic um kind of like wide leg tailored the kind of trousers that we all know i love again um obviously from the same brand i'll leave links to everything down below i got these in an extra small and I got the top in a size small. Maybe we can try them on later and I'll show you what they look like. And then I did do a little bit of summer shopping, which I know seems really early, but 
I just couldn't resist this. This bikini just looks so nice and I couldn't resist basically. And I always feel like summer comes around really quickly. So I do kind of like to try and start my shopping a little bit earlier. So it's just this black bikini um, from the brand Love Wave. So this is the top, it's like a bandeau um, little like bikini top and it's got, let me just pop these down so I can show you properly. It's got like a little tie detail there um, and then it twists on the back. This looked so incredible on the model that I just couldn't resist. So it kind of sits like this. I don't really have many bandeau bikinis either because I'm not like the biggest lover of them but this one feels like really good quality like it's actually gonna like hold you in place because it's got like the lining and padding in it and stuff whereas like the one I have at the moment is literally just a thin kind of like bit of bikini material and it moves all over the place whereas this I feel like it's actually gonna stay in place and look really nice and be really flattering and then I just got the matching bottoms which look like this they're just like a thong bottom because I find them the most flattering and I think with the thin straps these are gonna look so good and then with like the bandeau bikini top I literally cannot wait for summer to wear this so that's what I got from Revolve thank you very much to Revolve for sending those bits over to me and like I said I will leave everything linked down below in case you want to get anything and then we have this parcel which says L'Oreal on it and I don't really know like what it is because I've not been speaking to L'Oreal or anything so I don't actually know like where it's from like how they got my address or whatever if it is L'Oreal these are kind of my favorite kind of packages ones that I don't know what I'm expecting because it kind of feels a little bit like Christmas oh my god look at what we've just opened that to that is stunning we've got a little Valentino bag in here oh wait I think I do yeah okay I remember now I didn't realize like Valentino was underneath like L'Oreal or whatever in here we have a perfume I can't remember which one I picked though Apparently I picked a green one because it's in a green box. What is this? This is Valentino. I don't think I picked this one. Maybe they just sent me a random one or maybe I picked the wrong one. I'm pretty sure I picked a Prada perfume. So I'm a little bit confused, but anyway, grateful nonetheless. We have Valentino Donna Born in Roma. To be fair, I've never smelt the Prada one that I picked. So I might actually, this might be like a blessing in disguise because I might prefer the smell of this. This kind of packaging looks a bit like um, the glass you get on swimming pools. Do you know what I mean? Like a leisure center. Let's give it a smell. Mm. actually that smells so nice i am so bad for buying perfumes because i like the bottle like i would never normally pick this perfume because i'm not gonna lie the bottle of it and the fact that it's green would really put me off it's not very much my aesthetic but actually the smell of this is so nice like this is the type of thing i'd walk past someone and be like oh my god what is that smell that smells delicious it's quite nice and sweet i actually really like that what did i say it was valentino born in roma that's actually really lovely like I'm really pleasantly surprised by that like do not let the packaging put you off because I feel like the packaging looks a bit like gothy and that kind of vibe you know but it actually smells like really feminine and sweet and delicious basically I'm actually a really big fan of that and I bet if I did get the Prada one I picked I actually wouldn't have liked the scent of that do you know what I mean I feel like that's actually worked out really well and then last but not least for this past unboxing I'm absolutely ravenous I'm looking forward to having some lunch um I got these I really hope that these look good because I got sent these from DH Gate and I've seen someone on TikTok get these and they've looked really really good and I've seen someone get them and they looked really really bad so I don't know what these are going to look like but I thought I would try okay I think I've got the good ones I think we've been lucky here I got the Adidas um like the Sambas look at how good they look they're actually like kind of furry which I wasn't expecting and then they fold over like that the Wales Bonner I don't know how you say that I'm pretty sure they're limited edition and super expensive and really really popular at the moment and I just didn't want to pay the price I was gonna to have to pay for them and DH Gate very kindly said they'd send me some these look so good like obviously I don't have the real ones to compare them to but these literally look so legit look at how nice I've never really been into the Sambas I've never been tempted to buy them but then I kept seeing people wear these and I just think they look really cool and leopard print is meant to be really in this spring and summer but I just thought like a leopard print ganny jacket or something like people keep wearing just isn't me but I thought this would be a nice way to like incorporate a little bit of leopard print into my wardrobe and would work with a lot of my clothing because it's like brown and cream without being too much out there I thought this was a good way to kind of incorporate it if you know what I mean and these just look so cool I'm actually chuffed with them they look so good I'll also leave these linked down below in case anybody wants them I got these in a size five I'm pretty sure which is my normal size and let me just quickly try them on so I can give you a little size reference okay yeah they fit perfect so I'd stay true to size of these the Giacomo's jumper I would definitely size up like I said I got a size large but these definitely I mean these look hideous with the socks I'm wearing them with I can't wait to style these I don't really know what to like wear them with so I'm excited to kind of have a little bit of a play around and try them anyway that was fun especially after last week having no parcel unboxing in the weekly vlog it just didn't feel right so there we go that is that I'm now going to have some lunch like I said and then this afternoon I want to finish editing last week's weekly vlog so don't know how interesting that's going to be and then I don't know what to have for dinner because it's just me tonight and I really fancy having a fish and chip dinner 
I don't know why, but I just really do. But Josh and I might go out for dinner tomorrow night and I just don't really like eating out two nights in a row. Does that make sense? I don't know if anybody else is like that, but I feel like I'll enjoy my dinner tomorrow night more if I don't have a takeaway tonight. Does that make sense? I'd rather like save this takeaway to have another time if I'm going out for dinner tomorrow, if you know what I mean? And I don't know if we are gonna have dinner tomorrow, so I don't know. Other than that, I don't really know what I'm gonna have for dinner, so I don't know why I'm telling you that. But yeah, anyway, right, I'm rambling. I'm gonna have some gnocchi for my lunch, if anybody cares. We have this like pesto filled gnocchi, which I've not tried before and it looks delicious. So I'm gonna go and have that. It felt rude for me to not show you the gnocchi after me talking about it. I think it's on offer in Waitrose at the moment, but it's filled gnocchi. So there's a spinach and mozzarella one and this one, which is the one I'm gonna have, I think, because mum had this the other day and it looks so nice. You just like fry it in the pan so it goes all crispy and then it's got like a filling in it. Don't know if anybody cares, but I felt really rude being like, oh, I'm having fun filled gnocchi and then not actually letting you know. So this one I'm gonna pop back. This is spinach and mozzarella, which actually does also look really nice, but I fancy, they're quite big actually, aren't they? I suppose because they're filled. Um, I fancy the tomato one, but maybe, maybe this can be my dinner if I don't go and get fish and chips. Is that really sad to have gnocchi two times in a row? Probably. Good morning, happy Saturday, ignore the socks. These are my running socks and I've literally just got back from a run, hence the attire. I wasn't planning on introing today's section of the vlog until later and I'm not having my face on camera because I look like an absolute mess right now. But I just got back and I was just sitting here, you know, just trying to catch my breath back from my run and I've just been on TikTok like scrolling and I saw this. Look at these, cinnamon swirl scented candle, pan au chocolat, a croissant flavoured, not flavoured, scented candle. I need that in my life. Everyone knows I need that in my life. Everyone knows how much I love a pastry. I feel like I've kind of unintentionally given myself a bit of a brand now for having like pastries all the time. I just feel like it's a necessity. They also have an almond croissant and they're only 2 99 but the nearest little to me is Cambridge, which isn't that far. And Josh and I are going to the cinema today. So I'm gonna see if I can convince him for us to go to Lidl because it's we're not really going to that part of Cambridge today but I'm gonna see if I can make my magic work. So today we're gonna try and hunt for it and hopefully mission will be successful. Anyway, I'm gonna jump in the shower. It is currently 10 to 10. It's actually a gorgeous sunny day today. Let me see if I can show you. There we go. It was forecast to be cloudy. I've literally just looked at the weather forecast again and the weather forecast is saying it's cloudy right now, which I mean, I don't know if I'm being controversial here, but I completely disagree with that. So it's a really pleasant surprise that it's lovely and sunny, but yeah, I'm gonna have some breakfast, have a shower, make myself look presentable so I can actually show you my face rather than just pointing you out the window and I will see you in a bit. Guess he went to the fish and chip shop on the way to Josh's and got some chips because they had quite a late breakfast because by the time I got back from my run and then like I decided to cook like a hash like potato breakfast so I had to like boil the potatoes and then kind of fry them and stuff so like by the time I'd done that I didn't really have lunch or breakfast I had brunch basically until about 11 and now it's half two and I'm on my way to Josh's but I'm kind of getting a bit peckish and we're gonna have a late dinner tonight so I thought maybe I'll just get some chips on the way that'd be me um i didn't end up getting fish and chips last night i just ended up having a pie out the freezer and i cooked some mash with it but i just don't know what it is about some fish and chip shop oh god these look delicious i just got a kid's portion it's actually really big um where do i put my little forks i'm kind of thinking maybe i should have got him to like i was a little bit flustered basically when i went in there because um when i got out of the car there was this little cat and i'm not really a cat person but it was on the other side of the road and i was so scared it was gonna get hit by a car because this road's quite busy and then it came over to me and it was really sweet and i thought the fish and chip shop was shut so um i came to get back in the car and then I, like, I saw someone else go in, so I was like, okay, obviously it's actually open. Um, anyway, the cat was then following me and I kind of made friends with it. And then I was kind of concentrating on the cat because I was really scared. Like, it kept crossing the road with me. And then it was literally stood outside the fish and chip shop, like, almost waiting for me. And I thought it was going to come in the door. And I was like, obviously you can't really have a cat come in a fish and chip shop. So I was getting a little bit worried. And I didn't expect him to make my chips so quickly. So he was like, oh, do you want something vinegar? And I was like, oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. But normally I'd say I want loads of vinegar because I just love a bit of vinegar on my chips. And I didn't, so... They're not quite as vinegary as I'd like, but they'll do. Anyway, I haven't really seen you much today. It's now half two, like I said. Um, but this morning, I was waiting for an eye... I've got a new, like, eyebrow soap thing because I really want to try the spiky brows. And I've got the pink honey one, but it's tinted and it smells like cola cubes and it's delicious. But i just not sure I like the tintedness. I thought I would because it would save me filling them in, but then they just go really big and bushy and just look a bit ridiculous. So I just ordered the normal one because it was on Pretty Little Thing and I've got free next day delivery pretty little thing so it was cheaper than like all the other ones so i've ordered the normal one which i think is meant to smell like bubble gum it was meant to come between half 12 and half no half 11 and half 12 so i thought okay i'll wait until it arrives to do my makeup it still hasn't arrived i don't know where it is um 
so yeah i was waiting to do my makeup and then i just tied my room this morning like i said i didn't make breakfast till late so now we're here i'm just gonna eat these and then i'm off to josh's like i said i'm gonna have a pretty chilled like rest of the afternoon at his and then this evening we're gonna go to the cinema we're finally gonna see anyone but you and if you saw my weekly vlog a few weeks ago where we were gonna try and go but there was like no viewings of it or anything well we then found out somebody out that josh went to work with or something went to see it last weekend so we had another look and it's back so i don't know whether maybe we were just looking too far in advance. They didn't show the cinema showings for that weekend, if you know what I mean, or what. But it's still in the cinemas and we still want to go and see it. So we're going to go to the cinema tonight. I'm wearing the same thing that I wore to Force Park with me on Tuesday. But I just want to be comfy. Like, you know, if we're going to the cinema, you want to be comfy. I might change when I get to Josh's because I've still got a few of my clothes left at his from being at his earlier on this week. So I might get changed. Anyway, I really wish he's had more vinegar on them. They'd be so much nicer. But anyway, mm, that one was okay. We're going to go to the cinema and then... I think we're gonna go for some food afterwards, either like Nando's or Wagamama's, I reckon. I'm feeling Nando's, although that does mean I'm gonna have chips twice in one day. I did think that on the way here, I thought, do I just get a battered sausage rather than chips? Because I'm probably gonna have chips for dinner this night, but then I thought, is that just weird? Just getting a battered sausage on its own, so I didn't do that. <laughs> the temptation to go back in and ask for more vinegar, but that also makes me feel like that would be weird, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm sure he wouldn't mind, but like, I just, mm. Mm, no and i've also said to josh that i need to go to lidl i've not told him what i need to go to lidl for but i want to try and get those candles because there is a little in cambridge but like i said it's not near where we're going like it's not that far from where we're going to the cinema but it's not like right next to it it's a little bit of a detour but i've told josh i need to go and i'm not told him why but i did say to him we could get cinema snacks from there so maybe that'll work in my favor because i really need i feel like i just need those pastry candles in my life like it's a given anyway that is you pretty much updated you didn't really miss out on anything after i cooked my lunch yesterday because i literally finished the weekly vlog cooked my dinner and then i watched love island and oh my god on the love island adverts it like suddenly came up big brother celebrity big brother coming back in march now i only started watching big brother when it came on at the end of last year i never watched it before that and i was obsessed with it so i've never seen the celebrity big brother but i literally cannot wait for it so that's coming in march which i'm so excited about when it came up in the adverts i was literally like oh my god what the hell that must have been how they announced it because i've not heard anything about it like since then or like before then you know so yeah that is us basically caught up i'm gonna eat these and then i shall head over to josh's um yeah i literally do not think i've got anything else to update you on this paper's kind of getting on my nerves oh my god though i did also drive past a golden retriever puppy on my way um here and it was the cutest thing ever it was literally so chunky and so cute i'm actually gonna be a right weirdo and go back in and ask for some more vinegar because i just know i'm gonna enjoy them so much more if i do and i know that's really really like, embarrassing but i'm still gonna go and do it and then i'm gonna finish my chips and i'll see you in a bit bingo i found them i have all of them i don't know which one to get because this one is the croissant one but this one's a bit more my color scheme so i'm gonna smell them all and then decide this is the most horrible lighting i don't know why they've got a blue street lamp but i got them i didn't end up getting the croissant one purely because it was in purple packaging and we all just know that's not a bit of me and like it did kind of smell like a croissant like they do smell really good but i just didn't really like purple packaging so i got pan chocolat because it's pink and it's like delicious obviously and almond croissant because it was the beige one and i still wanted to get like a croissant one i'm just kind of annoyed it's in french i wish it said almond croissant in english i don't know why i just feel like it looked nice but they actually smell delicious they also had a cinnamon one which i smell and that was also delicious they're actually very very good for 2 dollars i can't remember the, the brand that these are a dupe of because i have seen them come up on my instagram before they're really expensive candles um so i'm chuffed with that and then i also got this is new as well for my little cinema snack a white chocolate blondie that's a bit of me and then i'm hoping to get a tango ice blast um if we've got time before we go into the cinema but yes that is uh, my little little trip done it's now dark as you can tell it's half five and we're about to go to the cinema the film starts at 10 past six and i think we're gonna go to nando's after um but i was gonna tell you this actually josh um we normally get like this sharing platter that's a half a half a chicken i think or something like that half a butterfly chicken and like two chicken thighs and then you get four regular sides and we normally get two peri peri chips garlic bread and a salad but they don't have the salad anymore so now I don't know what other side we'll get. I don't think they do the salad anymore anyway. When I looked online, they didn't. We normally get like a green leaf salad thing. This lighting's horrendous. So I don't know what we're going to get. I'll let you know after we've been to the cinema. And I'll give you a little review. It's a Valentine's extended edition of um, Anyone But You. But it just turns out that that's just a four minute blooper trailer thing at the end. So I don't think we'll bother staying for that. But I'm excited to see after all the hype. A little bit late to the party, but we're at the party nonetheless. Um, this is horrendous lighting. So I'll see you either at the cinema or at Nando's or wherever we end up going to eat after. We've made it. I got the ice blast and we're the only people here at the moment. The cinema had like literally six people booked in so I think it's going to be pretty empty but we're actually quite early. 
it's only four minutes to six so we'll watch all the trailers we won't miss any of the film because when we came to see barbie which was the last film i saw we were so rushed and we literally got in just in time so this is much more um pleasurable experience i'm so pleased with this five pound but i have absolutely no regrets because i bloody love these things good morning happy monday everybody i didn't end up speaking to you yesterday because i just had like a no makeup chill day didn't really do a whole lot but i loved the film it was so good my tango ice blast though was so weird like the first few sips were delicious and then it started to have this weird like garlicky taste to it almost like i couldn't put my finger on it but like it had this weird like taste to it at the start of every sip and it really ruined it for me i mean i still finished the whole thing because i did spend like five pound on it but i was slightly disappointed and then we went to nando's afterwards but oh my god we got there had to wait half an hour for a table finally got a table and then they were like oh we've got no whole chicken half chicken quarter chicken first fried chicken's gonna take 20 minutes we were like well do you actually have anything so we didn't end up getting our share platter we just got um like four thighs each instead didn't end up getting salad because they don't do that anymore so we got broccoli came home chilled didn't really do much yesterday hello now it's monday you're all caught up you're up to date it is monday morning i've just filmed some trial and clips for a zara haul and for a primark haul and i'm about to film some tiktoks but we have an exciting parcel to open before we do anything else it's one of my favourite parcels ever, ever, ever. It's also the first time it's come in a bag. Like, normally my White Fox parcels come in a giant box, but maybe they're changing up their packaging. But we have a giant White Fox parcel that's been delivered. I literally cannot wait. I love... Like, these are literally like my favourite parcels ever. So I thought we could open it together. I am going to be doing a whole separate haul, so I'm not going to show you everything, but I thought you weekly vlog watchers deserved a little sneak peek. I thought we could open it together, do first impressions and stuff. I literally cannot wait. I love White Fox stuff so much. I do have a discount code as well, which is Georgie I Clark, which will get you 15% off if you want anything but yeah i want to film some tiktoks on this so i want to like open it now obviously like with you and then i can film the tiktoks on it and then today i'm literally just kind of having a filming day like filming loads of um try on clips and then tomorrow is pancake day i can't believe it pancake day on tuesday valentine's day on wednesday don't know about you but i'm actually more excited for pancake day than valentine's day i just love me some pancakes and like josh and i don't really do anything for valentine's day he's also got an exam this year on thursday so we're not actually going to do anything for valentine's day because he needs to be revising but we don't really do anything anyway like i just don't really get valentine's day personally i'm much more of a pancake day kind of girly but yeah the next couple of days are gonna be quite heavily um like filming hauls and stuff because i'm going to cornwall on thursday so so just a little heads up there might not be loads of footage over the next couple of days but then on thursday i'm going to bath and we're going to go shopping together so stay tuned for that right i'm going to stop rambling let's open it we have one little bag of stuff another little bag of stuff and then we have a giant parcel this always feels like christmas when these arrive like these boxes because they're like so beautifully gift wrapped like look at how gorgeous this is with like the bow on it and everything it's just stunning i really am like a sucker for packaging and i just feel like it makes the whole experience like 10 times nicer right where's my phone i just want to take a quick picture i don't know where i have my phone i want to oh here it is i want to take a quick picture of these and then we can open them as per usual the curtain bangs are signs that got my nerves i'm going to restyle them and put them in a roller um in a second but i just wanted to film this first so i've just chucked the sunglasses in the head to keep them out of the way look at how stunning this is i literally love these parcels so much it's like past the parcel this feeling never gets old like honestly i can't do it like that i need to put it down give me a sec oh my god i can see the first thing oh my god oh i love i love already look at how nice i literally love these hoodies especially like this design and i've gone with this like pistachio colored one this time i have so many like this i literally love them so much oh my god it's stunning i'm already obsessed okay we, we have another one i wait i'm not oh my god i love already i'm not going to show you everything like i said so we're going to skip that hoodie but I did get these. Look at how cool these little white fox shorts. I really want to show you everything right this second, but also like I obviously want you to go and watch the haul. So, oh my God, I literally can't play. Oh my God, that color. I can't, right. You're going to have to wait for the haul for that. I don't want to be that annoying person, but like obviously I want you to go and watch the haul. So we have a few more things in that box. And then what's this? We have this, which I was talking about in the weekly vlog the other week. Like, do I get the navy and do I get the blue? Not the what? Do I get the navy? Wait, this is really noisy, bear with. Do I get the navy or do I get the white? And I ended up going with the white just because I thought like it's a little bit more me and like probably gonna wear the white more than I would the navy. So I got like these little um, tight little shorts and then a matching little top is in here somewhere to go with this, which I cannot wait for the summer. Like I got so many like spring and summery pieces, but I'm just so excited for like the sunshine and stuff. Like it's actually a really nice day today. Like it's blue skies and sunshine and it also was yesterday. And I just love when the weather's like this. Like it just makes me so happy and I'm so excited. Like 
to be able to wear, well, I say to be able to wear shorts out, like I don't still wear shorts out now, but to be able to wear shorts out without people feeling like they constantly need to make a comment on them on my YouTube videos when I am wearing shorts, because that is starting to really bug me. So I'm excited to be able to wear that without constantly getting comments. I'm kind of confused. Oh, I forgot I got that. I was gonna say like, I've got another hoodie, but I saw I already picked two hoodies, but I didn't. I got this another little hoodie, which is a completely new style for me. There is literally so much stuff, look at this. Okay, I'm now gonna film the trial and clips for that. Was that the most pointless unboxing because I only showed you like three things? Yes, but I don't wanna spoil the actual haul. So I'm gonna film the trial and clips for that now. Um, basically just get a load of filming done this morning and then this afternoon I'm gonna get loads of editing done. So how interesting my day is gonna be to film weekly vlog clips, I don't really know. We'll just have to wait and see. But anyway, happy Monday, hello. I'm feeling good, I'm really excited. I literally cannot wait to try all this stuff on now. I'm not normally one for those like Instagram quote things, but I saw someone post this and I literally love it to the point that I have actually reposted this on my story but it's so cute like it's just talking about all the like lovely things in February which I think is so nice because I'm like one of those people that like looks forward to the summer so much to like the sunshine the early mornings and stuff like the bright mornings bright evenings all things like that but actually when you look at something like this and it like breaks down all the things in February that are really lovely it actually just made me really excited and it made me like want to make the most of February before we then have March and like we have Easter and then it's like springtime and stuff I won't read it out because it's really long but I'll hold it here um, so that you can like pause it and read it but it is actually so lovely like do you think I can get away with not wearing a coat today can you pick me up a bag of mini eggs please I just thought that was so cute like I actually love this so much I hope she posts them every month because that would actually make me so happy like seeing this at the start of the month would just like make me look forward to certain things and make sure like I'm making the most of the month does that make sense I ended up having my lunch outside because it's actually such a nice day today and like I'm not going out and doing anything which does kind of make me sad like when it's nice weather like this I feel sad that I'm not going out making the most of it like I'm not even going for a run today or anything so I thought let's sit outside eat my lunch in the garden which was lovely I have not done that in the longest time because obviously it's been winter but I sat out there like this with my shorts on like it was a little bit chilly but like it wasn't too bad so like the fact that the warmer weather is coming makes me so excited but anyway it's now about one o'clock i'm gonna spend the afternoon editing but before i do i thought we could finally try these because i said i was gonna try them in last week's weekly vlog and then ended up not because that ended up basically being a taste test for the entire week so i thought i could save them for this week um they're the cadbury milkshakes and i got them from sainsbury's and these are normally two pound for this for 250 milliliters which i thought was a little bit of a rip off but um they're currently on offer or at least they were when i got them for a pound each so i got the caramel one and the normal just dairy milk one so it's made with real cadbury milk chocolate as well apparently so hopefully these will be nice so i thought we could just do a quick little taste test because i really want to try them but i thought i would um try them like on camera first and then i'm just going to spend the afternoon editing my nespresso machines being collected in a little bit because it just KO'd itself last week like it literally just stopped working but I didn't realize with Nespresso like it's really really good in fact do you know what that's so weird the doorbell's just gone I bet that's my Nespresso machine I'm sorry but that was the most weirdest timing ever like it literally just that was the Nespresso so basically uh but yeah the Nespresso basically stopped working I've only had it for a year Josh got me it for Christmas not last year obviously but like the year before what year was that 2022 no must have been yeah anyway um it has a three-year warranty with it and it literally just randomly broke and i contacted an espresso they tried to help me fix it basically were like okay we don't know what's wrong with it so they said we can either like they'll either come and collect my machine and they'll repair it for me and that will take like two to three weeks or i can just swap it for another machine um but it's like a refurbished machine but then i was thinking like if i send my machine off to get it fixed my machine's then gonna be refurbished anyway and it's just gonna take longer um and i still have my warranty with this does that make sense so I thought that was a win. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly open this. They sent me the same one, like the matte black one, but actually this has got a slight difference to it, which I actually prefer. The logo on this one is silver, whereas on my old one that he literally just collected, it's so clever, like it was just DPD and we just swapped machines and he just boxed it all up and it was so easy. Um, this one is silver, whereas my old one was gold and I'm much more of a silver person. So I know that's so minor and so random, but here she is, the new coffee machine. We love that. So yeah, if you're um, thinking of getting an espresso, I actually thought their like their customer service was so good. Um, and the whole like process of like the warranty and everything is incredible. Anyway, that is now that done. Um, as I said, let's try these. I feel like we should start with the plain um dairy milk one and then go into the caramel one. Oh god, that looks so thick. It also smells like the um Cadbury like pots of joy thing, which I absolutely love. So I have quite high hopes about this. Maybe I shouldn't put the lid on white bedding, but 
I quite like that. It doesn't taste like fully, fully of like Cadbury Dairy Milk, but it does. It tastes a bit like the Pots of Joy, like I said. It's just a little bit thick for my liking. I don't particularly love my milkshakes like this thick, unless they're like ice cream ones. Oh God. Okay, I'm going to have to show you that in a second because if I try and show that anymore now and tip it, it's, I just know my cream carpet is going to be covered in chocolate milkshake. Mm. I don't think I like the caramel one. I don't think I like the caramel flavour to it. It's quite like a... um. It's quite like an artificially tasting caramel. I definitely prefer the plain one. I'm just going to quickly show you the texture though because they're very thick. It doesn't seem to want to show up on camera for some reason. Like I don't really feel like you can see like how thick that is on camera. I don't really know if anybody cares. Why am I doing such an in-detail review on this milkshake? I don't know. But if anyone's thinking of buying them, don't buy them if you don't like the thick ones. I probably wouldn't pay £2 for it. And also I'd get the plain one. I wouldn't get the caramel one unless you really love like caramel flavour type thing because... I like caramel, but I don't like caramel fake flavour. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm going to go and drink this now. Get on with the bit of editing. Stop rambling in your ear. And I will see you in a bit. The editing is underway, but I just quickly FaceTimed my dad. And he got Reggie on the phone. I should have filmed it, but I didn't even think about it. But I took a little screenshot. He was doing that little head tilt thing. Like, you know when you're talking to a dog on, like, FaceTime and they can't work out how they can hear you, but they can't see you. He was doing that little head tilt thing. It was the cutest thing ever. Look how happy I was. <laughs> dad's in the top corner there there's me like literally so excited to speak to him i've not seen them in like a week and i miss them so much i'm gonna see them on thursday though but having him on facetime billy was in the garden couldn't really care less to talk to me to be honest but seeing reg oh his head i wish i filmed the little head tilt thing like i said this is just a screenshot but he was doing the proper like really confused thing it was the cutest thing ever good morning happy pancake day everybody what a great day i cannot believe this year we've got pancake day and valentine's day back to back how exciting anyway i've been filming this morning so i didn't have pancakes for breakfast because i kind of just wanted to get up get ready and get on with filming and then i could have my pancakes now and enjoy them so that is exactly what i'm gonna do i thought we could make some pancakes together i'm much more of a crepe person than a like thick american pancake person i know that there's like two sides obviously <laughs> that's quite an obvious one like but i'm definitely a crepe person i much prefer them and i did actually see yesterday on instagram there's like a creperie in my local town um i've never been to it, actually i don't know why i follow them, follow them on instagram but i do anyway they posted yesterday that they were giving away free crepes today like if you went in and showed them their instagram post you could get free crepe and i was kind of tempted to do that but that means i've got to drive into town park up just to get a crepe and I thought, can I really be bothered to do that? It's going to take me like, it's going to be a half an hour round trip when I could just make them at home. So I don't think I'm going to do that. Oh my God, I also saw this morning, someone on Instagram, let me see if I can find it. I didn't know this was a thing, um, but someone was getting a train to St Pancras, London St Pancras, and on the, um, oh, I can't remember who posted it, on the like train board thing, they changed it to London St Pancake, or, oh no, wait, what did they change it to? I've just butchered that. Let me have a Google. I'm sure someone on Twitter has um, posted it. Um, but I'm literally going to some pancreas on Thursday, so I'm kind of gutted I'm not going today just so I can't see it called pancake, if you know what I mean. Anyway, uh, pancakes, right. Flour, eggs, and milk. Um, I also like to vary my pancake toppings. I'm very much a golden syrup kind of girly because it's easy. I do like Nutella, but I find it a little bit sickly sometimes, like on a pancake. And I am partial to a lemon and sugar, but I would say my predominant topping is golden syrup just because it's so easy i'm also going to be having pancakes for dinner um, which might sound a little bit weird but like mum has done it for so many years it's a little bit of a tradition and even though she's not here i am still going to continue doing it but she kind of makes like savory pancakes like slightly thicker ones like not fluffy like american ones but they're slightly thicker i do actually need to get the recipe off her and then um we do like a creamy chicken um like a creamy sauce of like chicken in and sweet corn i do actually need to get a chicken thingy out of the freezer that's just reminded me and it's so delicious and I would never normally have a savoury pancake but it's pancake day so I'm gonna have pancakes all day. It feels rude to not have pancakes for dinner so I'll make them with you later. Um, but for now I'm gonna make the crepes. Um, I think I'm rambling this morning. I'm just excited to talk to you. I don't feel like we've spoken much this week but like I said it's because I've been trying to film haul videos and stuff before I go away to Cornwall and I've also not been doing loads this week. Like my brother's had um, like a girl around. <laughs> that sounds really weird. But like I've not had the house myself this week and I always find it really awkward filming around people I don't normally film around. So I feel like that's part of the reason as well why I've not filmed much this week, but hopefully next week's weekly vlog, when I'm in Cornwall, we'll be doing more things to chat because I feel like I've neglected you a bit this week, but Thursday we're gonna spend the whole day together and I'm excited for it actually. Anyway, I'm gonna quickly make the pancake batter and then we can like cook them together and stuff. I wish I had a kitchen island. This is why I like filming in Josh's kitchen when I'm at his house is like a lot easier for cooking clips because he's got an island so I can still talk to you whilst I'm doing stuff. 
that is like one of my biggest goals for like my future house which won't happen for many 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 years but I want a kitchen island <laughs> I just love them anyway I'm gonna make these pancakes and shut up now and I'll see you in a second <laughs> I started a new series last night called Dead Water Fell, I think it's called, it's on Netflix. Um, I don't feel like the um, picture of it really like drew me in, but I was kind of a bit stuck on what to watch because I'd all caught up on Love Island. Um, so I decided to watch it, it's got David Tennant in it, um, and I'm actually loving it, like I've only watched one series, so, no, one episode so far, but it's actually really good, like it's a kind of crime drama, I don't know what it originated on, maybe like BBC, because it came out in 2020. Um, but I've never heard of it, but I'm actually quite enjoying it. So if anybody like me is struggling on something to watch, but you like that kind of thing, I'd recommend that. And then what else have I done? I can't remember when I last spoke to you yesterday. I literally edited all afternoon yesterday. Um, I made a pasta bake for dinner, which was delicious. And then I watched that. Then today I filmed, making pancakes now. This afternoon, um, let me just get the pancake mixture. This afternoon, my plan again is to just edit. I also want to try on some outfits. Um, because I'm going to call on Thursday, like I said, so it's easier if I style my outfits before I go, just so that I know what I'm packing and I don't then overpack, if you know what I mean? And pack things I don't need, because I'm getting the train, so I'm going to be restricted on how much I bring in the fact that I really can't be bothered to have to bring a giant suitcase with me and wheel it all the way through London and all the way to Bath. So I might try and put together some outfits today, just so I've got a few things like, um, I don't know what I'm going to do whilst I'm down there, but you know, if I've just got a few outfits in mind, it's just easier, and obviously I can't bring my whole wardrobe with me, so... And then I'm going to have pancakes for dinner and that's basically going to be my day. So yeah, this week's a bit of a boring week filming wise for like the weekly vlog and I do apologise for that. It's just because I'm trying to get everything done before I go to Cornwall and those kind of things aren't really the most interesting things. Why is there always like this unwritten rule that the first pancake always goes bad? Like I really don't get the science behind that. I've just seen Bums From Home have posted this and I'm literally gutted because it's only available tomorrow because it's a Valentine's Day special and I was hoping it might be available on Thursday as well as like a weekend, extended weekend special because I need to go into London on Thursday to get the train across to Bath. Like I have to get a train into London, go across London and then go out of London to Bath. So I was hoping I'd be able to, you know, on my travel, stop off at a Bums From Home and get it because it's literally right up my street. Look at this. It's red velvet with cream cheese in it and it's so cute looking. Look at how sweet. I really, really want it. Like that is like the most me thing ever, but it's only available tomorrow and I'm not going into London tomorrow and I'm not gonna go into London just to get that button. But oh my God, I really want it. I'm so sad it's not gonna be available on Thursday. It's literally just a one day Valentine's thing, which I'm so sad about because I really, I really want that button. I mean, that was the worst presentation ever, but the first pancake is done. This is how I like them like creppy, you know, and I'm gonna have golden syrup on it because like I said, it's just my go-to. I probably will have one with Nutella on, um, but I normally just like golden syrup. I don't know what it is about it. These are the people I was talking about on TikTok the other day, Will and Woody. They posted this, I just saw it, and it's Gary Barlow and they play this game where like open a can and you have to guess whether it's like a beer or a soft drink. And I'm not gonna spoil it, but you should watch it. But here you go, this is the example. It's so good. And then they have loads of them. And this is like the Rick one. It's so good. Honestly, I'm literally obsessed with their TikTok. I don't follow them. But I feel like I should do. And this is the type of radio station we need in the UK. Like, it is honestly incredible. I love it. It is finally hair wash day. And that means one thing and one thing only. It's time to dry the Dyson hair up. I am literally so excited I could scream. I have never used one of these in my life. Which sounds kind of crazy, like, to ask for it for my birthday and having wanted one for so long when I've never even tried it. But that's the situation. Um, I just see so many TikToks of people saying how incredible it is. And every time I watch hair tutorials and I'm like, oh my god, I love their hair. And they're like, oh, I used to dye snare up. And I'm like, great, I don't have that. Well, now I finally do. And today we're gonna try it out. I need to dry my hair. Cause like my hairdresser and quite a lot of the tutorials on TikTok I've seen have said like, dry your hair to like 70, 80% dryness. So I'm just gonna do that with my normal hair dryer. I do have, um, this is her, this is she, she is a stunner. I do have the flyaway attachment in here. Um, but I'm not gonna use that today. And then also, one time I do wanna try doing like a bouncy blow dry um, with this like comb brush thing. But today I wanna try um, just these two, like the curler things, because I feel like these are the most different, like air up exclusive kind of item with the fact that you like suck your hair in. And I have also seen people dry their hair with the brush attachments as well, brush. I said brush weirdly then. With the brush attachments, people like brush their hair and dry it through, which I do also wanna try. So there's like a few different, um, ways of using this that I want to try but I feel like today we should try the classic ultimate air up 
little twisty tubey thing. So I'm gonna quickly dry my hair and then I'll be back and we can try this out. My hair is roughly dried, it's time to give it a go. I've also realised this is the first time I'm actually styling my new hair as well because like I got it cut and then it was styled at the hairdressers and then I haven't styled it myself since. So it's the first time trying this out and also styling my super short hair. So how this is going to go I do not know. Why did that make me jump? Why was I like not expecting that? I literally turned it on so obviously something was going to happen but I don't know why that made me jump. It was a bit of a delay reaction from the Dyson which then made me jump. I actually have no idea what I'm doing. I'm confused. How does this work? I don't get it. Am I just an idiot or like why is this not sucking my hair up? Oh, it did it! That was like magic. What am I doing? I don't know. I don't know how I did that, but I did that. Okay, I did it. I did one cut. Actually, not horrendous for a first attempt. First up, I actually can't really see what I'm doing. I'm using you as a viewfinder, but I did it on hot and then it kind of like, I think I moved too much and then the like air up lost hold of the hair. So I redid it and then I blasted it with cold because I heard that that's what you meant to do, but I couldn't really remember like, where the cold button setting was. So it was a little bit tricky, but I mean, it's a pretty shite curl. Let's be honest, it doesn't look the best, but like for a first attempt, she's not half bad, okay? I feel like I probably need to clip my hair out of the way. I feel like that's gonna make things a lot easier. I feel like I look like Princess Bloody Peach or like Princess Margaret or something, either from the Mario Bros or like some cartoon or some actual historical royal character. I feel like that's what I look like with my hair like this, but. I don't get how it does that, it's magic. Okay, here we go. This feels like it's gone better than the first time. Has it actually turned out better than the first time though? Mm. I don't know. Still not the world's best curl. Maybe it's gonna take a little bit of trial and error. I was kind of expecting with the Dyson Air Up that it's gonna take me like a few attempts to actually like be able to properly use it and get it to look good. Cause I keep seeing people on TikTok like mixed reviews. Like some people love it and then like some people hate it. But the people that love it are like, I feel like the people that hate it are like don't know how to use it properly. So sort I of think like don't have the knack to it. So I do feel like it kind of might be a bit of like trial and error and practice with this tool. I don't think it's gonna be like a pair of like GHGs that you like get to know how to use like straight away. Do you know what I mean? I feel like it might take me a little bit of getting used to because at the moment this is not it but I have hope I'm also so excited like I said to try this one I feel like this is gonna be so good for bouncy blow dry I'm gonna do the rest of it and see like this isn't quite um as good as I was expecting but like it's a first attempt maybe I've dried my hair too much or like not enough I don't really know I feel like there's so many different factors like I need to try different products different like levels of hair wetness different like lengths of time to have it hot I feel like there's just so many like factors you have to take in it's like a bloody science experiment back at high school I don't know why I called it high school so I'm not American but I actually hated science at school so all these bloody like independent variables and whatever they were <laughs> My chemistry teacher used to literally scare the crap out of me. Like she always used to pick on people to like answer questions. Like, you know you used to have teachers where they'd be like, like, um, what's the square root for? Or like something like that. And like people would put their hand up and they'd pick someone who put their hand up. No, my chemistry teacher used to pick on you. So like, I mean, it was clever looking back on it because it always made sure that I did my homework so that I like knew the answers because I was petrified of her picking on me and me not knowing the answer because she was a scary, scary lady. <laughs> It's nasty. I feel like that one's gone better. Oh my God, look at that one. That one's gone so much better. The second attempt, we're already seeing improvement, ladies and gentlemen. Ta-da! We have the finished result. Now, I don't think actually for a first attempt is that bad. Like some of the curls are like more prominent than the other curls, probably because those ones like I did better and they've like held, whereas the other ones have dropped out. I've not hairsprayed or anything. This is literally just how it finished up, but I don't feel like it's too bad. I feel like we're getting somewhere. Like for a first attempt, that is not too bad. I feel like I do need the longer barrels though, even though my hair is now like ridiculously short and I still kind of regret cutting it this short. I still think I could do with the longer barrels. I think they'd work better. And then obviously as my hair gets longer, I'll gonna, I'm gonna need them anyway. But other than that, I think it's just gonna be a case of like trial and error, like I said, and just keep trying it. I'm interested to see how long this like kind of lasts. Like I don't actually love my hair when it's like this. I feel like it's a little bit too puffy and stuff, but to get my hair in like the bouncy blow dry look that I like, it has to start out like this and the curls have to drop. So I'm interested to see like, how long they last, whether like once they drop out, they still have the curl or they just completely drop out straight. Like I'm really intrigued. So I shall keep you updated and let you know. But that is the first attempt of the Dyson Air Wrap. And I think I kind of love it. This is a little close up. Um, so as you can see, like this curl's gone quite well. Whereas like this side I did first, they've probably dropped out a little bit more. Look at my little chin dimple. So cute, isn't it? I feel like it's not always noticeable, but then like sometimes it is and it's really prominent right now. Anyway, um, 
yeah maybe if i just i have no idea what it looks like from the back but i've just put it to the back of my head so you can kind of see i don't even know if that looks any good from the back but that is it done this side definitely looks better like this curl i feel like is really getting more points for this side than this side but like i said this side i did second so these probably have dropped out slash I have more practice come this side. Dinner is underway. I was gonna do a like cooked dinner with me, but I've also realized that like, I've only really filmed me making pancakes today. And although it's pancake day, you probably don't wanna see that. So I thought I would just quickly show you. I've actually done like thick pancakes because although I said I like thin pancakes, we always have thick pancakes with this dinner. Like I don't really think it would work with crepes. And then I also use this as well. Cause normally I put it in um, a jug, like the pancake mixture, but I've still got my pancake mixture from this morning, the jug. So I've used this pipette thing which actually is meant for stuff like this. It's from a chef thing, um, but it's so fun. I mean, horrible noise, but you squeeze it up and then squeeze it on. So the pancake's on, and then I'm gonna pop them in the argo once they're cooked, just to keep warm. And then I just make like a chicken mustard, like a little bit of mustard just to add flavor. Cream cheese and cream kind of like mix it all together. I'll show you it when it's done. I have no idea what that beeping sound was and I am currently home alone and I've never heard that noise before in my life, so I'm slightly terrified. Anyway, I will show you the dinner when it's done. Um, I just don't want to bore you with pancakes, but I also said I would show you it. So we've come to a compromise, okay? This really doesn't look very appetizing, but trust me it is. I've got the chicken in there, the sweet corn, cream cheese, cream, pepper, whole grain mustard. I mean, it doesn't look the best, but I'm just going to heat up the... um pancakes back on the hob a minute and then i basically just put this on top of the pancakes it sounds kind of gross but trust me it's actually delicious and i only have it once a year it's my little pancake day tradition so it would have been rude for me to not have had it today so i'm gonna eat this watch love island and i'll probably see you in the morning after oh my god i've got a 23k run to do at half six tomorrow morning i'm dreading it i'm dreading it i just need to stop thinking about it okay i'll see you in the morning there is no flipping way i was just on twitter reading um things about last night's love island because i love looking at twitter to see what people are saying about love island anyway i saw gavin and stacy was trending i thought hmm why is gavin and stacy trending oh my god gavin and stacy is trending because there's another christmas day special coming oh my god i cannot wait for christmas day purely for this reason oh my flipping god this is the news I needed to hear today. I'm so excited about that. I can't even explain it. Good morning. Happy Thursday, everybody. I didn't speak to you yesterday, which was Valentine's Day, um, because I woke up at 6 a.m. yesterday morning to go and run 23 kilometers with my next door neighbor, 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 and it was absolutely brutal. I don't know why, but that run I found really, really difficult yesterday. We did a different route and we did run a bit through fields and it was really muddy and it really wrecked my trainers but thank god for the washing machine it has saved them because i honestly thought they were ruined bearing in mind i have white trainers so i don't know if maybe it was like because we did a different route or what i really don't know but i found yesterday's run really really difficult even though my half marathon i did the other week which was only two kilometers less i found okay do you know what i mean anyway so i did that yesterday morning came home from the run didn't feel very good i think because basically my body was so hungry and like needed fueling so i felt a little bit unwell for a bit so i didn't put any makeup on yesterday just took it really easy packed for cornwall and that is basically it you haven't really missed out on anything and now it is thursday i am dressed i'm ready for the day yes for all those people that hate when i wear shorts i'm wearing shorts again but at the moment i'm currently absolutely boiling i am going to be wearing uggs i am going to be putting this scarf on but i just couldn't bear putting it on right now because i'm too hot and I'm gonna be sat on a train for most of the day. So I'm definitely gonna be warm enough, okay? But yes, I am heading to Cornwall today. So my parents are already down there. They got down there last week, um, but my dad's working in Bath today and it only cost me like 24 pound to get a train to Bath. Um, so I thought I might as well do that. Then I can go to Cornwall for a bit and then I'll just get the car home with them in a couple of weeks when they come home. So that's why I'm doing that today. So Josh is about to pick me up, drive me to Cambridge station. I've got to get a train from Cambridge to King's Cross get a tube from King's Cross to Paddington and then get a train from Paddington to Bath. Then I'm gonna to get to Bath, chuck all my bags in the car, spend the afternoon in Bath doing some shopping and stuff before dad finishes work, then get the car to Cornwall with dad. And I have three bags of stuff that I need to try and take with me. I've got like an overnight bag. Oh, you can't really see it. I've got this like overnight bag, which I'm hoping I'll be able to rest on the suitcase for most of the journey. So I won't actually be having the weight of it. And then I've just got, this mini like suitcase which is one of the four wheel ones which is quite handy so i'm hoping i can just like wheel it like this most of the time so i'm not actually having to carry the weight and then i've also just got like this bag uh, like a handbag type thing which i'm just gonna have on my shoulder which actually is already quite heavy and i've not even filled up my water bottle yet so i'm already getting a little bit hot and flustered already uh, but this is just got my laptop and stuff in because i'm going to do some editing on the train i don't even know if i need that scarf you know like i'm actually really glad i'm wearing shorts because walking through train stations with all this stuff with my hair down, I can already imagine myself getting really overheated already. 
So I'm glad I've got the shorts on, okay? But yes, that is today's plan. I'll take you along the journey with me. I'm kind of tempted, you know, to get off the um to get off the tube at Baker Street, which is kind of like on the way from King's Cross to Paddington, because there's a Dunkin' Donuts there, and I really fancy an iced Dunkin' Donuts coffee today. So I'm kind of tempted to do that, but then I'm also like, can I really be bothered to have to get off and on the tube an extra time just to get a coffee, bearing in mind I'm gonna to have to carry all these bags with me as well. Do I just get a Starbucks when I get to Paddington? That's probably the easier option, we'll see. And then I'm also gonna take you shopping with me this afternoon in Bath. Thought we could have a little come shop with me. I mean, we started the vlog with a come shop with me going with Mia a week ago today, and today I'm gonna to end the vlog and start a new one tomorrow in Cornwall. I'm gonna end it with a come shop with me, but we love shopping here on this channel. Okay, I'm rambling and Josh is on his way and I need to get my water bottle filled up, get some shoes on. I need to put some plasters on my toes because they're a little bit ruined from my run yesterday and my legs don't feel too bad, but like I am hobbling a little bit today just from like achy muscles from my run yesterday so that's gonna be fun for walking multiple steps today around London stations and onto and off tubes and everything so wish me luck but yes right I'll probably see you um at the station or on the train or something I mean it's not gonna be the most interesting train journey I'm just gonna be editing but maybe I'll get some snacks and MS and stuff on the journey I don't know we can see I've finally made it to Bath. I didn't have time for a coffee. I will fill you in later because there's music on. I don't know if I'm going to get copyrighted, but we have made it to Bath and I've come to Franco Manco because I'm absolutely starving because it's two o'clock. Um, I've gone with just a classic tomato mozzarella and basil. I have been craving one of these pizzas for like the past week and this is right next to the station so it's really quick and easy. Like I've still got my bags with me and everything. I've not dropped them off yet because I'm so hungry, but because it was next to the station I thought it makes sense. And then I've also got um, a spicy and do dip coming because I'm obsessed with this stuff. I've never tried the dip but like I'm obsessed with Induya so I thought it'd be nice to just add it to like a plain margarita. Oh my god I know I said I was hungry but this pizza's huge. I swear they're not normally this big but I'm not complaining because if I don't eat all this I will just take it. I will have it as a snack in the car later so I'm very happy. Got my Induya butter or whatever. What was it? Induya sauce or something? I don't know. I don't really care. I'm starving so I'm going to eat this and then I'll talk to you in a little bit. Not me like 10 minutes ago saying that was such a big pizza and how I might take some home and now me literally finishing the whole thing because I was clearly that hungry. Okay, now to try and find in this absolute giant car park that goes all the way up there as well where the car is. I texted Dad this morning like, can you let me know where the car's parked? And he's not replied. So I obviously have no idea where he's parked it because I wasn't with him when he parked it. So I've now got to try and like lug these around to find the car so I can finally get rid of these bags because they are really doing my head in. That was actually a lot easier than expected. Luckily, my dad is apparently a man of habit. He is a creature of habit and he likes to park in the same sort of space, um, not the exact same space, but like the same area of the car park because my theory was, okay, let's just go to where he parked last time and then work outwards from that area and bingo, I found it. It was so easy to find. I also forgot that mum's car is like a navy blue colour, which actually is quite handy because it's a little bit more obviously like standout-ish than a black car. Anyway, I'm so glad to have those bags dropped off. If there's one thing about me that I hate, it is having to lug bags around, especially three bags with a coat on as well. It's just all too much. I've had to take the scarf off. I'm actually boiling. Like, I'm so glad that I haven't got trousers on today because when I got to, um, where did I get to? Where was I? When I got to Paddington, they announced the platform of my train and I was like, right, I just want to get on this train. Um, obviously, like I had time, I didn't really need to rush, but you could tell me I've got plenty of time to get on a train. I'm still going to run, not run, but I'm I'm a fast walker, okay? I just can't help myself. I hate dawdling. Even when I've got loads of bags, I'm a fast walker. So by the time I got on this train, I'd lugged all my bags onto the train, lugged them like through the carriage, through the aisles. They were hitting everything. By the time I sat down, I was boiling. I was so hot. I literally had to take my coat off. I even took my shoes off and just rested my feet on my shoes because I've got Uggs on. So I thought if I take them off, it will help. I even got to a point where I took my jumper off and I was literally sat in a vest top and shorts because I was that hot. But yeah, I didn't end up having time to get a coffee because my train from Cambridge was a little bit delayed. Then it was a bit of a faff getting the tube from king's cross to paddington it took ages so then by the time i got to paddington i only had about 15 minutes until my train and i just thought having a coffee as well as all these bags is going to be a bit like difficult to maneuver and also i don't want to like what if there's a queue at starbucks you know and then i miss my train so i decided not to risk it but i've just been to franco manca as you saw that was actually delicious that and do your thing whatever it was was actually delicious it was so good um and it is now five to three so i'm gonna go and do some shopping i shall take you with me hopefully dad won't be finishing work too late today 
he doesn't really have an official finishing time you know um but hopefully he will be done at a decent time he seems like he's already gone and got his car journey home snacks without me because this was just sitting on the seat when i got here but this double decker looks like it's um been a few places it looks a bit battered so i don't know if maybe he's just like emptied them out of his bag i don't really know what the deal is like i'm not really too sure what the situation is but if he's gone and got his road trip snacks about me i'm gonna be very offended because if there's one thing that me and my dad love doing is getting a road trip snack so maybe he's gone and got them without me maybe i need to go but the problem is if i then go and like buy myself some now then i'm gonna feel bad if he well he has got them do you know what i mean but like what if they're just leftovers from another day and he wants to get new road trip snacks today and then I go and get some without him, then I'm going to feel bad, you know? Anyway, I'm rambling. I've got two minutes left on my SD card. I'm not sure how that's happened, so I need to try and make some room. And, uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. I just thought we'd have a little catch-up and an update in the car before we got shopping. These look so nice. They look like the Tala, um, like, grey flared leggings. They look such good quality. They're so thick and they're only £12, but, of course, they obviously don't have my size, which I'm gutted about because I actually so badly want them. Like, they are honestly so nice. They're giving Tala vibes. And I've been wanting those ones from Tala for ages. I'm going to have a look and see. There's a couple on the floor over there, and there's a rogue pair over there. So I'm hoping they're going to be in an extra small or an extra, extra small. I mean, I can see that one's a large, but if I don't try, I won't know. What size is this? <gasps> no flipping way. An extra small. Okay, you are going straight in my basket. Oh, my God. I'm chuffed with that. <laughs> I feel a bit like a tramp scrambling around on the floor but that was so worth it they've got the viral jumpsuits but in like a cream i've not seen this color before most of the stuff that's in here at the moment is stuff that i saw when i came with mia so you've already seen it in the vlog which is why there probably won't be many primark clips but this i've not seen and it is so nice i love the color of that as well that is so nice i also love this color i don't know what it is about this pink at the moment that is so i'm actually so tempted and oh they don't have my size though i'm also not like a pink why is my hand so shaky um i'm not really a pink wearing girly but that pink it's like bubble gum it does something to me at the moment, I love it. They've got a whole new range of these like scene free separates. This is what the tops look like, they're like a v-neck. They feel like the Zara Limitless Contour Collection. They feel really nice and they've got loads of colours. And then they also have little like strappy tops like that. I think that's the kind of, they've got the shorts and then they're the two little tops. But they have them in loads of colours and they actually feel really nice. They're like these ones, you know, like how they came out of these and everyone loved them, but they've come out with them like a slightly thicker rib now. I quite like the look of these. They're like a kind of formal looking trouser, but they feel like joggers and they've got this like, um, button detail on which I actually really like I've never seen anything like that it's kind of like joggers but formal because they're like a wide leg pleated trouser they look really comfy I don't know how much they are but they look so nice £12 I'm actually kind of tempted to give these a try maybe an extra small would be slightly better because I don't want them too tight but they actually look quite cool they also have this table over here of just like loads of ribbed vests which I've not seen before they're £2.50 I saw a picture where did I see the picture of them oh and here they look like this like a relaxed scoop vest but like maybe that size start with like some white wide leg trousers and stuff will look really nice and they've got loads of colours. I quite like the pink as well. I'm kind of tempted by the pink and the brown. I found these sunglasses, what do we think? I feel like maybe they're a little bit too like big. I don't know if the, you know, like big celebrity sunglasses, but I kind of love that. It's also absolutely random here today. Like it's half term and it is so busy. I normally come to Primark first thing on like a Monday morning. I'm not in half term, so I'm used to it being really quiet when I'm trying to like film and shop and it's so busy. And I'm also really starting to flag. Why am I still got these sunglasses on? I'm starting to flag, like I'm running out of energy. I didn't have my coffee this morning as we all know and I'm absolutely boiling. Like it is so hot in here. I've ditched the scarf and honestly, I wish I could ditch the coat as well. I am boiling, like so hot. I just, I don't know if I've got the energy to shop. I'm gonna carry on in Primark. I've got a couple of bits, but this might not be the longest come shop with me this afternoon because I am shattered. I wonder what this looks like because it's a liner and a lipstick all in one and the shade on there looks really nice but that would be so practical to like have a liner and a lipstick that matches all in one thing. And they also have this which is another like two in one. It's a lip and cheek tint matte finish. I don't know what that's like as well. Again, I've not seen these before but they don't have any testers and I don't want to be that person like opens one to make a test. You know, I always feel so bad when I do that. I'm tempted to try these, these aluminium thermal hair rolls but I don't really get what makes them thermal. Like, do you just like blow dry your hair against the tin foil and it keeps it warmer for longer? But like, is that any different to these? Because I already have these so I just don't know if I need these. Do you know what I mean? Like, do I need these? Are they actually going to make much difference? To these ones i'm a bit confused and obviously you can't help me out here but i just don't know if these are going to be any better like would these make the curl last do i just try them for three pounds these are all the questions i'm trying to ask myself right now i'm in the home section and again most of the stuff i've either shown in my what's new in primark or you saw when i was with mia because obviously it's only been a week so there's not masses of different things in but these little bath mats look really really cute and then also over here they've got some cushion covers which are really sweet like i love the neutral vibes just then with like the little daisies on oh my god if my name was daisy i would so have them 
I feel like I'd be that kind of person. It's probably a good thing that my name is Georgie, so I can't buy things like that. Does that make sense? My beloved picnic blanket is back in stock. I literally bought this two years ago and I love it. So if anyone is looking for a good picnic blanket, it's £8 and it's so nice. Like it's so neutral. So like if you've got a similar aesthetic to me, love neutrals, this is the best place to come. Because trust me, I searched for ages for a neutral picnic blanket and then I finally found this one in Primark. This is such a cute phone charm. Look at it with the pink and the cherries. I don't love this lip on it, but... The cherries on it are so cute. I just can't really get on the phone charm hype. Like this, I can just like, how? That must be so annoying. Like I have one from Primark and it's really cute, but it just annoys me having it on my phone. Like, I don't know. I'm just not really a phone charm girly. I can't get on board. Oh my God, these are the cutest socks ever. Look at how cute, seven pairs. <gasps> Oh, I didn't realise they all had dogs on. I thought it was just these two. Okay, maybe those ones are plain, but look at them. If you've got a cockapoo, I feel like you need them in your life. They are literally like the cutest socks I think I've ever seen. If they had a golden retrieve on them, best believe they'd be coming home with me. I got really excited when I saw these because I thought these would be so nice, like peeking out the top of trainers. Obviously, this is literally like the colour scheme of my wardrobe. So I thought I could like colour code my socks with my outfits, but they feel so thin. Like they're really not like nice thick material. They have them in loads of colours, like loads of different colour schemes. But I thought these would look so nice, you know? Like with this outfit I could wear say like these ones, if I was wearing a brown outfit, wear these ones. And for three pounds as well, but they're literally so thin, I feel like I'd wear them once and I'd get a hole in them. I'm gonna get this to give it a try because it's meant to be like a gut loving soda. I've seen a couple of these recently, like I saw one on Instagram the other day that I really want to try. And then I've just seen this one in an MS. And it's got it's got um, live cultures in it and I'm on my kefir era so I feel like I should try this and then I've also just picked up a kombucha because again it's kind of like kefir, the fermentation, good for your gut. So I came into m &S to get a thirst quenching drink and I've ended up with two like gut healthy drinks but I'm kind of intrigued to try them. I don't know if they'll be any nice but this cream soda also looks delicious. Like the packaging of that, I just love me a cream soda but I think I'm just gonna get these two. These also look really nice. Has anybody tried these? Juicy vitamin water. I don't know if that'd be strong enough for me though. Like sometimes I've tried these flavoured waters before and I find them really, really watery. Like I'm a girl who, I mean, I don't really drink squash, but if I do, I drink it strong, but that one sounds really nice. Pomegranate and raspberry. I really don't need to keep buying drinks though, do I? I'm tempted to get this, the car journey home snack. Sticky toffee apple. It's just slices of apple, but you can have like a toffee sauce with it and a salted almond crumb. That actually sounds delicious, but do I really want to spend two pound on that? I feel like that is slightly daylight robbery, but it also sounds delicious. Also, look at this, two perfectly poached eggs. That's, that seems so bizarre to me. But I suppose it's good if you struggle to like do a good poached egg and you love avocado toast or something. Like these are already done for you. Do you just like heat them up or something? Because surely you wouldn't want to eat that cold. I'm baffled by that. No way, they've got Percy Pig cookie cutters. How cute is that? This is the other like prebiotic soda I saw the other day. I think it came up on an Instagram ad and they've got it for sale in a few shops in London, but they've also got it on Amazon. This is just a screenshot to remind myself that I wanted it, but I didn't want to obviously buy how many do you get? 12 cans for 23 99 on Amazon in case I didn't like the flavor of it. But this one's raspberry and pomegranate and it looks really nice. And I think it's the same kind of concept as the one that I just bought. But obviously that one I didn't have to buy 12. So I'll give that one a try and see if I like it. But I'm also curious to try this one. I feel like a lot of brands are coming out with them at the moment. Like I've never heard of them before. And then I've literally just found two in one week. But yeah, they're like gut friendly kind of soda things. I'm not really a fizzy drink person unless it comes to a cream soda, which I'm sometimes very partial to. But these actually, like if they're kind of good for you as well, I feel like I could get on board with that. Okay, I am back at the car because A, I don't know if you can hear that, but it started absolutely tracking it down, uh, which is not ideal bearing around I'm wearing Uggs and I've not got an umbrella and I've not got a hood and I've not got anything weather appropriate and it's starting to make my hair go wet and curly, which I'm not a fan of. Uh, so that's part of the reason. B, like I said, I'm just really tired and C, I am actually really struggling to walk. Like, it's okay like walking short distances, but like I am literally like hobbling and then like when I walk down a bit of a hill, I really struggled because like my thighs are just in agony today. Uh, but anyway, I'm back in the car now. Don't know how long I'm gonna be waiting in here for dad, but we shall see. But I thought I'd give you a quick little Primark call because I only picked up a couple of bits. I did end up getting those black sunglasses. These were literally just on like someone who, you know like when someone just puts them back where they're not meant to be, they were just there. And then when I went over to the sunglasses section to try and see if they had any more of them because I wanted to see if they had them in brown because I do prefer getting sunglasses in brown. I think they're just a little bit softer on my features. I feel like my hair's really curly here, bear with. I just feel like brown sunglasses are a bit softer for me and a little bit more like, these are a little bit more harsh, the black ones, but these were giving me like celebrity in the airport. Doesn't want to be recognized, absolutely giant oversized sunglasses. And we all know my love for a pair of oversized sunglasses, so I couldn't resist. And then of course, would it be a trip to Primark without picking up what? 
can I speak in English please? Um, without picking up some more fake nails. I really like the colour of these ones. I've had them before. They're just £1.30. So I've got two packs of those. And then, of course, I got the grey leggings. I was tempted by those grey trousers. And I did have them in my basket. But then towards the end, I just thought, like, am I going to wear them very much? I don't know. So I decided I wasn't going to buy them. And then if I keep thinking about them, I can always go back and get them. Because that's the first time I've seen them. So I reckon they're, like, very new in. But I'm so glad about these. Because I've been wanting that Tala set. Like, basically, these leggings with, like, the long um sports bra like tank top thing for the longest time but it's like a hundred pound and i just can't really justify it um but these were literally 12 pound now i didn't manage to find a matching top which i'm kind of gutted about because i would have been over the moon if i managed to find like a matching little like t-shirt or oh my god imagine if i found like the tala sports bra top thing that i was just talking about in primark that matched these leggings i would literally be over the moon but there was literally not a single top that matched these but i still got them anyway because i'm hoping i have many a gray top in my wardrobe um so i'm hoping i'll have one that will match this but these are honestly so nice like they're such a nice material i'm surprised i didn't see them in foss park last week with mia because that primark's a really good primark and then in the bath primark they had them but they barely had any sizes left so i don't know when primark come out with their new stuff like is there a dedicated day like is it a tuesday that primark come out with their new stuff because if it is i suppose that would make sense as to why mia and i didn't see it last thursday because like they weren't released yet but then it's been enough time now that it's thursday for them to have sold out do you know what i mean especially because it's half term but i'm so glad i managed to find them i'm literally like so happy with these like these are so thick i feel like these could be like a viral thing and i love getting ahead of the game like i love finding things before they go viral because i hate the stress of like seeing a tiktok and being like oh my god i really want that and then having to go into multiple primark searching for it until you can find it it just stresses me out and i know that's really a first world problem and it shouldn't stress me out but it really does but now that i've got these without having the sort of pressure of trying to find them because i didn't even know they existed do you know what i mean and then if i see a tiktok later of people being like run to primark you need these i can be like i've already been no stress no drama llama over here does that make sense i'm actually so excited about these they're such good quality like these are so thick i'm kind of thinking maybe i should have picked up mama pear because maybe she would have wanted them shit i also i don't really want to go back out in the rain though to get them because they did have her size and she loves things like this but she does already have a pair similar to this so she probably won't need both she's a little bit more sensible than i am oh well maybe i'm just gonna be the world's worst daughter but I don't even know if she wants them. I've now just got in my head that she's going to want them because she loves trousers like that. But like I said, she has already got a couple of pairs of trousers like that. Right, why am I telling you about my mum's wardrobe? I don't know. Um, that's literally everything I bought other than all the drinks that I bought as well. Um, I don't know what that was about. So yeah, that is about it. I think I'm just going to sit and now just like go on my phone um, and like read my book for a bit and stuff whilst, dad, whilst I wait for dad to finish work. I love the fact though that it is literally like five o'clock and it's not dark. It's kind of grey and gloomy because of the weather, but it's not dark at all i mean yeah it's it's, it's kind of dark but do you know what i mean it's still like daylight and it is 4 41 that is so good anyway i will see you in a bit if we stop off and get some snacks i'll give you a little snack call but like i said uh my father seems to be a traitor and he seems to have already got some snacks so i don't really know what's going on with that um but if we need to stop off and get petrol then i'll probably get some snacks anyway i don't really need snacks i definitely don't need snacks right now like i'm full up for my pizza but like i just feel like get, like stopping off and getting snacks makes the car journey it just makes it so much more fun i don't know if that's just me because i just love a snack but yeah i will see you in a bit it'll probably be dark and horrendous lighting and like just feel like my hair looks horrendous now because of the rain right i've spoken to you dash cam please anyway okay oh dad's calling please tell me that he's finished work oh no he just hung up on me if dad's finished work at quarter to five i'll be very surprised because i'm anticipating a between five and six finish leaning more towards six yes i'm sat in it now oh really yeah and then get some chocolate weather all right all right see you in a bit bye Oh my god, incredible news. He just said I'm a couple of minutes away. I've just left the office and the office is literally only over there. It's quarter to five. He's already finished. This is incredible. And I heard him say, um, we'll get out of Bath and then we'll go to the petrol station because we have like a normal petrol station that we go to um, outside of Bath just, you know, to get out of the city traffic, especially like we're a little bit before rush hour. So get out, you know. So I heard him say like, we'll go to the petrol station. So I thought, right, quick, let me put him on speaker. I don't know if you heard him, but he said, um, 
I can't remember what he said, but he said something about getting some chocolate. So that means the snack is gonna, the snack trip on the way home is gonna be happening. I knew he wouldn't let me down. I just, I started to question things when I saw these snacks on the front seat when I got in the car earlier, but I shouldn't have doubted him because my dad is very much like me. That must be where I got it from because even though he's literally got a chocolate bar here, he will get another one. I know he will. So yes, dad is gonna be with us in about T minus two minutes. We'll get out of bath and then I'll see you at the petrol station and I'll give you a snack haul. Also, I've just thought, oh, here he is. Here he is. He's not got his head off, he's gonna get wet. <laughs> this is the petrol station of choice today. It's not a normal petrol station because the sat nav has taken us a different way. So, oh, do you know what I do kind of fancy? I do kind of fancy a cheese string which is really right but i also think i might get a coffee dad wants a coffee and i'm gonna get a coffee i think oh pastries i've never been to this petrol station before i always love a new one i think it's so exciting okay we have our updated snack call i feel like you're a little bit too high i've played a risky game i've been talking in this weekly vlog about how um i can't have coffee like certain Please coffees after the like at the third exit and continue to follow a4 um I had a Dunkin Donuts coffee the other day when I went to Foss Park with Mia last Thursday and I couldn't sleep all night and I don't know if it was because of the coffee and I say Costa's the worst coffee because it keeps you awake and I've got a Costa but I just need a coffee I'm so tired and it's five o'clock I would never have a coffee normally at this time let alone a Costa coffee so we'll take this as an experiment because I'm wondering if maybe because it's um from the machine might be something different I don't know but if I don't sleep tonight I think, talk a load of bull, I think I'm hoping yeah I think I'm not getting much sleep tonight but I stood there and I was like I either get a vanilla latte or I get a hot chocolate and I just really fancied a coffee so I've played a risky game and if I don't sleep tonight I'll update you in the weekly vlog and it will prove my point about Costa coffee being ridiculously strong in caffeine so I got a coffee um and then I kind of love um I got my cheese string and then after that it was a case of oh quick we need to pay what am I going to get and I do quite like the pressure because sometimes it just makes me pick random things um so I got some square salt and vinegar I got some mini eggs because they were by the till it's very much I think it's very clever where they put things because if you're someone like me where you're rushing to make a decision if it's in your eye line you're going to get it because like the mini eggs it was a no-brainer and then I also got a Fanta fruit twist because I fancied a nice cold drink and their cold drink selection wasn't the best this was the best option I just like, fancy something really cold and refreshing so that's my little random snack call did I show the cheese string I don't know this is so random and uh may slightly regret the coffee because I may be up all night tonight but I'll let you know if I am I'll give you an update we can really prove my theory oh. 